I'm making a multiplayer mod for the PS2 game Ratchet and & Clank and it's uh, it's coming along pretty good and I wanted to make a devlog explaining what this is, uh, where it's going and what challenges I've overcome and what challenges are yet to overcome. So this mod, it's not actually for the PS2, it's its for the HD remake of, uh, of Ratchet and Clank 1 for the PS3. It, it's a bit easier to uh, to mod. And so the, the multiplayer mod, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a, um, it's a, uh, what is it? It's a multiplayer mod. So what is this mod? Well, it's it's a, it's an online multiplayer mod where you can connect to different servers, uh, game servers, and you can connect to different game modes as well. So I'm hoping that we will be able to have uh, death matches and we will have uh, racing servers and and uh, basically it, the server side is scriptable. And so whatever uh, whatever you can dream of, there uh, there can be in the future, right? And there's a, there's a server directory when you start the game. Instead of like starting a new game or loading the game, you hit. Uh, square and then you list the server directory. If you're familiar with my previous modding of Ratchet & Clank 1, uh, you know that it only worked on console. I'm talking about the randomizer that I made. And so this time around, I'm making it work for both console and emulator. I've spent a bunch of time making it work on RPCS3 and, and console as well. I've stumbled on multiple bugs where it only works on console and crashes on emulator, or it only works on emulator and crashes on console. Uh, it, it's been a whole deal. So I think we'll, we'll just jump into what it looks like right now uh, and I'll just show you some of the pieces, what's working, what's not working. All right, so here we are in game. And the first thing you'll notice is the text on screen that's rendered by the server. The server tells the game to render this. And here you see uh, another player spawn in and animations are working and the positions are working as you'd expect. Uh, you can walk around. As you can see, Clank isn't spawned on the other player. And uh, that's just because I, I wanted to, to get the bare minimum working, uh, spawning extra stuff that uh, makes it more complex. But you can see the, the aggression works. You can wrench each other and you can die and, and you can do all that stuff. So what isn't working are the weapons. As you can tell here, the, the bomb glove does nothing and uh, no other weapons work either as of now. And it's because of an issue I've been having where when I spawn a weapon like the wrench, it changes to the local player's weapon. When you change to the swing shot, the, the spawned object changes as well. But it's worse for weapons like the bomb glove. It just crashes the game. And it crashes the game in different ways uh, every time. So that's interesting. So there's definitely some reverse engineering work that has to be done here to, to make that fully work. And I'm postponing making all the weapons work properly until uh, later. I, I want to finish up the mod and release it. And then in an update, we'll fix the weapons and add support for that. So for now, we'll focus on the stuff that does work, the game modes that we can do without having full weapon support. So for now, I'll show you how I made a custom game mode of the game of tag. You know, where you have a hunter and you have runners, the hunter uh, tags the runners and uh, the, the runner that gets tagged is now a hunter and hunts the runners, right? And so here's our custom game out of tag. In the corner, you can see the indicators saying if you're a hunter or if you're a runner, if the hunter attacks the runner, the role switch and the runner becomes the hunter. There's no timer or anything. It's just an everlasting game of tag. But we also don't have any kinds of items. We don't have the thruster pack. We don't have the heli pack. So I thought let's add those to the game as pickups. So what we do is we spawn two game objects. And then when the player collides with those or walk into those, they get the pickup that we want. So here we, uh, we're, I'm coding in two game objects. Uh, uh, initially, it was going to be the, <laughs> the thruster pack and the, the heli pack as game objects. But, you know, it's buggy, and uh, I didn't have time to fix that, so I ended up just going with uh, some boxes to, to show that the pickups work. So here's a short demo of the tag game mode between me and a friend. <laughs> So 
so that's where it's at right now. It it does work, uh, but there are still a lot of bugs to uh, to fix. There are bugs in both the server side and the client side that needs to be fixed. It has taken a while to get to this point. I started out well over a year ago by just experimenting with how to spawn extra ratchet game objects in the game, and uh, and moved on to. Uh, syncing the animations between uh, two game clients and and uh, i had the first proof of concept code ready uh, april 2022 it was uh it was a really hacky thing that uh i i just wanted to see that it worked that like it there was uh it was possible to do this i couldn't start working on a full-fledged multiplayer mod right away because the the way that i did the code loading it didn't allow for more complex and a larger type of mod i've been working since then on how to load a larger piece of code into the game and and that's taken a while it's been really difficult making that work on on especially Especially on console, but also having that work on both console and emulator has also been a, a kind of a challenge that I, I didn't expect. So for the next steps, I'm going to work on fixing most of the game breaking bugs in the server and game codes. And then I'm, I'm going to need to work on how the installation process for at least for console is going to work with the mods and how that's all going to work together to start the mod on console. Because right now it's all just a messy development system. And lastly, I need to, to work on, on getting some more performance out of the server and uh, the game code, uh, especially for the networking. That's not all great just yet. Uh, uh, and then I'll I'll work on on releasing the mods. So there aren't really a lot. Uh, the <laughs> so there's not a lot of work uh, left to be done before releasing. And so to finish up, I want to say that uh, the source code is available on GitHub if you want to look through it. Both the server side and the, the, the game mod code is on there. There's no documentation, however, so good luck understanding any of my messy code. Other than that, thanks for watching.